is Alec coming to you with another Warcraft 3 audio commentary. Hello everyone, this is Alec coming to you with another Warcraft 3 audio commentary. Uh, today we will be having uh, some more Warcraft 3, uh, well this is the Replayers Epic Cup action. And today we'll be having DKH's Reign spawning as the Teal Undead uh, player at the 5 o'clock position on Twisted Meadows against mm, Believe. He'll be spawning as the Orange Undead player at the 8 o'clock position. So this is really something you don't see very often, uh, an Undead uh, Mirror match. Uh, just because Undead is such an, an underplayed race because all the other races are considered better. Um, uh, I'm an Undead player, I love Undead. I really don't see why it's so underplayed. Unfortunately it is, so let's see how this game goes. It should be really interesting, I haven't seen one of these in a long time. Anyways, Believe looks like he's going to be going for a standard ghoul build, not going to be going for that early graveyard. I'm going to be going for ghouls and uh, probably a lich or a death knight, I'm assuming. Let's see what happens as soon as the ziggurat finishes. It is, yes, he will be going for Lich as his first hero, so I'm not surprised. That's it's either Lich or Death Knight for your, if you're going to be going for a ghoul, uh, a ghoul build. It's pretty standard. Both, both players going to be sending out uh, an acolyte scout to see where they are. Let's see what Rain is doing. Also going to be going for a Lich actually. So both players going to be going for standard ghoul builds with Lich. Uh, so this should be really interesting. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. This should be really, really cool. Uh, let's see how it happens. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, this is a best of three series, and this is only game two. I won't be able to cast game th game one. I'm only gonna be able to cast game two and game three. So game one, I'm gonna a little spoiler alert here for the next ten seconds. Uh, Rain did win. Was the winner of game one, taking that winning with in an air battle uh, so let's see who can win the sec second game uh, rain is up one nothing rain gonna be coming out with uh, gonna be scouting out with acolytes as he's coming out straight out with his lich gonna be killing off of this probably gonna be using that rod of necromancy to bring out some skeletons as uh, believes gonna be coming straight in with a bunch of ghouls uh, nice gonna be going for frost nova Rain's going to be going for Frost Nova as the first effect. Nice Frost Nova on that Lich. Let's see what uh, the Lich of Believe goes for for first. As uh, we have uh, a lot of ghouls out attack. yet for Rain. Nope. He probably wants to start training up some ghouls. I'm not really sure what he's waiting for. Maybe a tech or something. Let's see, let's see what he does decide to go for. Uh, I'm not really sure what he's waiting for. Uh, maybe he's waiting for a tech or something, but uh, I'm not really sure. I really don't know. Oh, there we go. He was waiting to do a tech. That's exactly what he was waiting to do. Both players starting their tech at uh, basically the exact same time. So both these players know exactly what they're doing, obviously. Rain probably is looking to get another Frost Nova off on all of these units. As both heroes may die here, this may be a little uh, trade-off between Believe and Rain. Let's see whose Lich dies. Very nice use of the Acolyte there of uh, Rain moving it so that he could move his Lich through. Uh, very nicely done there. I uh, believe losing more and more skeletons. This is a pretty, this is all basically an exact Players match. Are under Both attack. Lich is just retreating because of the ghouls targeting them. All those skeletons targeting them. Let's see what the players decide to do. It's here too. Both players probably going to be going for Gargoyles, I, wouldn't, I would imagine. That's also pretty standard. Once you you go ghouls and then you go gargoyles later on. Let's see now. I believe to creep out. I'm gonna be creeping uh, this uh, pretty easy orange camp. Let's see what the, uh, let's see what Rick decides to do. Is he gonna be going to frost over that lich? Does he have the mana? Yeah, he does have the mana to frost over that lich. Just one little frost nova off. Can he get it? Yay! Yeah. Oh no, and Believe got the Frost Nova. Believe, wow, so taking an early lead there as he does get to level 2 without Frost Nova. Going to be finishing off this camp as well. Not going to be getting any Creep Jack by uh, Rain. Very nicely done by him. Getting um, uh, Dark Ritual as his second effect uh, so that he can kill off those, those skeletons, these skeletons for mana. 
Sorry, I'm just scratching my head. And wow, this is pretty pretty uh, intense on battle so far. Yep, green dropping the second crib, dropping the graveyards, and it should all be timed pretty perfectly. So he's going to be going for Gargoyle, I believe doing the exact same thing, dropping a crypt. Yep, there we go. Both players going for the exact same thing. A player's forces are uh, um, but obviously Eve with a speed, as he does have level 2. As we probably do some long distance creeping over here on this one, I'm going to be losing a lot of ghouls though, I'm not really sure why he didn't grab those ghouls. Kill those no wardens as well. Trying to kill off this no poacher, I think it's called no no over overseer. Gage Rain gonna be being a bit of a lesser camp with uh, just a glitch and some skeletons. And let's see the level of this glitch. Still not that much experience for Rain. Really needs to try and do some creeping with his uh, uh, ghouls maybe. Yeah, there we go. Gonna be pulling a lot of ghouls. Has no lumber production right now. It does have a lot of lumbers on the stockpile though. As he's coming out with his first two cup of dark quills. Let's see, Believe is gonna be doing the exact same thing. Believe does have the money. Yes, coming out with his first go A little bit delayed. It's a lot of hero level. He does have a, uh, his hero is a lot better than the one, the hero of rain. Let's see what he's doing. The level three lich. So he does have a level three lich. So he does have a really big lead on the lich of uh, rain. Let's see if he's going to be doing a frost nova. Yep, very nice frost nova on that lich. Let's see what he's going to do. He's going to decide to do... Rain obviously not interested in being creep jacked. Oh, let's see if um, Believe is going to be able to... Uh, very nice frost nova off on all those units. Pit jack in that item as well. Getting um, really nice frost nova and a lot of experience from those units as the first couple gargoyles for rain is going to come out a little bit ahead of the gargoyles for... Uh, Believe, but it won't really matter too much as Believe does have a lot more ghouls and a lot better hero and everything. Believe really in a, a pretty big lead right now as Rain's going to be going for sacrificial pits for that um, a player's force uh, for, for the for that shade and the, the additional scouting, which really can truly can be a game changer, as if I explained in some of my previous commentaries. Let him just put did put up that Nerubian tower in his base, not quite blocking the whole thing off. And he does should be finishing his tier 3 tech. I'm not really sure why he went for tier 3 tech. Maybe he's going to look nickel for some sort of like a frost worms or something. But even that out uh, gargoyles, you rare, very rarely see that because gargoyles are frost worms go for help. Players mm -hmm. are he's going to be coming out this uh, which can be aggressive creeping. Very nice job saving all these ghouls though. Probably just going to drop them all now to go and harvest some wood does not want to lose this item that's a really really good item does not want to lose that item there we go nice job not lo to not lose that item as let's see if uh, rain is so lucky with the item drop as he kills a soaker matcha it, no not as, not as lucky are either players going for a second hero nope no second hero for rain well maybe we'll see a tavern hero nope no tavern hero no second hero for believes well, players, players are interested in just leveling up that lich uh, believe is up to a level 4 lich, gonna be trying to do some harassment as he tries to do some harassment off on those acolytes. Nicely job done by him. Rain looking to do some harassment off on those ghouls now as well. Gonna be getting one ghoul kill. Let's see as, uh, sorry, I'm, am I saying Rain? I mean Believe. As Rain's just gonna decide to TP pack and may lose his lich now. Ooh, is that a TP bot? That's really bad. Rai wants to pull that, that Lich back, does not want to lose that Lich, that Lich is so important. He's not going to lose that Lich, very nicely done there, saving that Lich, forcing that TP, TP from Belief so that Belief does not want to lose all those Gargoyles to the Gargoyles of Rain. This, that was pretty nicely done by Rain. Rain probably wants to buy uh, a Potion of Healing. Yeah, let's see, is he going to buy a Potion of Healing? Nope, going to buy a Form of Corruption. Did Believe do, is Belief going to do the same? Nope, not going to do the same just yet. Going for Black Citadel. He does not have Black Citadel yet, so he's unable to buy that orb. That's that orb, which is so, so important. Really, it's, it's really worth it to get that orb. I wonder if he just got the Tier 3 tech just for the orb. Still no upgrades on the Gargoyles for either player. Only four gargoyles, gargoyles though, for Believe. As uh, Rain does have a lot more, I'm pretty sure it does have six. Are under So attack. this should be pretty interesting to see the outcome of this. Let's see what that Lich of uh, Rain is going to do. He needs to just get one Frost Nova off on that 
on uh, the Lich of Believe, and that would finish it off. What is uh, uh, Believe going to do? Is he d dropping a slaughterhouse? So we may be seeing some statues and getting a death knight for a second hero. So interesting getting that second hero. Um, getting that for the death coal ability. It's um, it's not the best idea. Death coal is a, death knight's really good against all ra in a, in all races in any um, undead matchup except for mirror match. It's it's really it's n it's not as useful in a, a mirror match just because. Uh, death coil, you can't death coil your enemy's units, you can only really use it for healing. Which, when I use death coil, I only really use it for healing. I rarely use it on my enemy's uh, units unless it's to kill them, just to finish them off, you know, or on like, to nuke a hero. That's that's basically the only time I would use it. Sorry, my, uh, it's, it's lagging a little bit, my FPS is down to about 20. So sorry if there's any sort of lag. Both players taking advantage of the shades. Uh, nice uh, um, nuke on that one on that level three lich. Let's see if he can finish off that one lich. Ooh, very nice death coil to finish it off though. Let's see if he can get one more frost nova, which would probably finish it. Let's see if this lich can get away. Is he gonna lose that one lich? No, needs to just get home to do some shopping. Can he finish it off? The lich does have boots of speed. This should be really interesting. Frost nova would probably do it as the gargoyles decide to just engage the gargoyles, I believe. Very nicely done there by him. Stafford from teleportation going to be used now as well. That was uh, very nicely played by Rain. Rain really uh, taking advantage of the situation. Uh, I really like the way Rain is playing this. Even though he doesn't really have hero levels or anything, he is uh, doing pretty well, um, pretty well concerning he's at the disadvantage. I believe we're gonna do creeping now to play and to get that much further ahead and get that much bigger of a leap. Make it to level 5 on the Lich. Oh, we won't be able to get level 5 on the Lich. Not quite enough. Death Knight may get to level 2. I doubt it though. Let's see if he can get enough experience. No, he won't be able to. Oh, check this out. DKH Rain gonna be maybe looking to creep out this camp. Let's see if he does. I'm gonna be using staff and telep uh, staff teleportation. I don't really think that's the smartest choice because he has to get back anyways. Like, even if he does decide to um, staff the teleportation um, over here, he will have to just staff teleportation back. So it, it really would be worth it if you were to buy like a zeppelin or something. Really nicely done. They're gonna be able to get a lot of creeping done off, or really a lot of experience off on this right now. Killing off a, a level 10 dragon, I'm pretty sure. What level is this lich? Level 4 lich. Getting a death knight as well. So playing, uh, really playing catch up on Believe. But Believe does have a pretty, um, not a pretty big advantage, but does have a slight advantage there. Does have the first this obsidian statue comes out. No slaughterhouse down for rain, so he's not looking to go for statues or destroyers or anything. Is, uh, is Believe going to be going for destroyers? It wouldn't be bad just to research the destroyer, Players forces are just to have it, you know. But obviously he's not going to be doing it, as he's just going to decide to continue to creep. Lich should be getting to level 5 after this camp. This, this uh, red camp. Uh, yeah, should be getting to level, level 5 just right about now. As uh, Rain looking to do the same thing, but won't be able to, it looks like. Won't be able to boy get to level 5. As both players do have a lot of gargoyles now. Nice mass of gargoyles for both players. Rain a little bit ahead, a little bit more on the back row compared to um, Believe. Let's check out the production buildings of both players. Pretty similar for both players except for uh, Rain does have uh, does not have a slaughterhouse. Let's check the food counts. Over 58. And 48 over 50 for Believe, so I'm not really sure why Believe is so ahead. Is it because, oh, he did go for a third hero, the shot, the Dark Ranger. This, that really makes it interesting. Dark Ranger, basically an undead hero. A Sorry, I'm going to the leg for a second. Uh, Rain, now that Dark Ranger, basically an undead hero, can be healed by Death Coil. And did go for Silence as his first effects. And nice hero and on that Death Knight. Death Knight may get to uh, level... Uh, what am I saying? Death Knight may get to level what? Death Knight may get killed here. Very nice um, done there. U using that um, um, scroll of um, uh, scroll of whatever I forget what it's called. Scroll of protection or something. Scroll of preservation or something. I forget what it's called. 
But it uh, looks like uh, the Death Knight did fall there. Uh, the Lich of TKH Rain being forced to TP. Dark Ranger of, um, of uh, Believe gonna fall. Lots of hero kills here. Lots of Gargoyles. These Gargoyles probably want to engage. Of the Rain probably want to engage the Gargoyles of Believe. Very nice Death Calls by both players. Unfortunately, the Lich for Rain is only level 4, so the Death Call was not as good. Oh jeez, Rain really not doing so well here. One more Death Call would be very nice on the, all of those Gargoyles. As the Gargoyles of Believe now looking to engage on these um, production buildings of Rain. Looks like they may fall. As Rain just waiting for his Death Knight to revive right now, it looks like. But Believe very smartly is going to be focusing down that one Ultimate Kings with his Gargoyles. Still no upgrades for either player, it looks like. Oh no, Rain does one one upgrades on his Gargoyles, so it does have a pretty big advantage on all of those Gargoyles. The level 4 Lich now for Rain is very low. One more Death Coat will probably finish it off. We just need one more Death Coat, but no, all these Gargoyles are going to be engaging right now. Lots of Gargoyles for Believe are going to fall. Oh no, and they all decide to go into stone form. We may see another Death Coat on this Lich to finish it off. Nope, Death Coat not going to go off. Let's see what these gargoyles for Rain are gonna do. Uh, although he has a lot more gargoyles, he really is not really winning when it comes to hero levels and such. Let's see if the Death Knight can finally come up before that altar falls down. Uh, as it looks like the Dark Ranger's back as well. Death Knight does finally come out. We may see a one Frost Nova on it. Nope, no Frost Nova. As he's probably looking, to, as now Rain's looking to take down the Death Knight of. Uh, Believe very nicely done there. Nice death call to save that one lich. Now he's gonna just try and engage the gargoyle. To believe one gargoyle for believe gonna gonna fall as they're gonna pursue that. And right now, um, Rain is not gonna win this fight. This hero of battle is this lich level four lich does fall. Wow, so that might be the end for Rain. Oh no, and now his death knight falls. He has no more heroes. Looks like the altar is gonna fall as well. So unless he revives it from the tavern, I'm pretty sure this is the end for Rain. Yeah, oh yeah, this is really, there's not much more that he can do. There's, as, uh, this is pretty much the end for him. Oh, jeez. Uh, yep, Altar of King does fall now. Let's see if he's gonna revive his Lich. He revives his Lich from the tavern. Let's see what he's gonna do. The Lich for Rain, only half hit points though. Probably wants to do some last minute shopping before, uh, before he dies. Let's see, one more. No Nova will finish him. We'll finish off his Lich. Nice Nova by the... By DKH Rain. Yeah, he really cannot hold on after losing that Lich one more time. Uh, he's just forced to call GG. So I hope you guys enjoyed game two of this best out of three series. Game three gonna come as it's one one in the series now. Uh, for both players, obviously. I uh, hope you guys enjoy and stay tuned.